Hey you guys, it's Sandy from PDPD Recipes and this is part of my No Festa, No Problem series and today we're gonna make bifanas. For those of you that don't know what bifanas are, bifanas are made from pork loin uh, and they're sandwiches in popsicles or as we call them in Lisboa, carcassas, um, and um, they're so delicious. So I'm gonna show you how to marinate it um, my way. There's many, many ways and you can look it up, but let me show you a quick version of Bifana's Pitti Pitti recipe style. So in here, I have my season all. It's salt, it's pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, and crushed red pepper. I'm going to put it on my Bifana. You wanna make sure that when you, if you do something like this, it's a three quarter part um, salt, and then one quarter of garlic powder, black pepper, and um, crushed red pepper. And I learned this technique from a very wonderful man, Sr. Um, Joaquin Borges, or King Borges as we call him, from Madeira Club in Central Falls, Rhode Island. He's a fantastic chef. So that's pretty much it. And you can kind of beat them up if you want, which is the traditional way. And we're gonna add some garlic and olive oil. So I'm gonna add some garlic and olive oil to mine. You can add bay leaves. You can add whatever you want. You can make love to yours. And I'm gonna add a little bit of our pd pd, which is gonna be our malagueta. Uh, malagueta, of course, pd pd, meaning, meaning bring on the hots. And this is my hots of choice, the Gonzalves chopped hot pepper. You are gonna need to add a little bit of uh, paprika. I'm using the smoked paprika because that's what I have on hand. However you do this, you need to make sure that the bifanas are garlicky. You need to make sure that they have tang, that they have spice, that they have flavor. Um, and then we're gonna, in Lisboa, what we do, or alfama, however you wanna call it. My family is from Masama. You would, um, pan fry these just for a second and then saute them in white wine and garlic and the peppers and onions and let them stew all day. And they'll put multiple layers of, of the pork meat on your uh, bifana sandwich. Um, at the fish, the festas, we grill them over that fire charcoal, Our Lady of Fatima feast, the San Juan uh, Madeira feast, the social club feast, all those wonderful feasts here in my area. Um, that's how we would do it. They grill it, they put it on the popsicle and they go. For me, I do it a little bit differently. So here are my bifanas, which I'm gonna make for my family. And I'm gonna show you how I made mine. First of all, I made my peppers and onions with garlic, um, olive oil, some paprika. I'll show you that on my blog at pdpdrecipe.com. And then my bifana is gonna be a little bit different. So my bifana has smoked bacon, which I found at Portugalia, smoked Portuguese bacon. It has a pan fried egg. It has the sauteed peppers and onions. It has my bifana meat. And of course I grilled my fresh popsicle, or how we say in Lisboa, carcaça. Um, and, and that's how I constructed mine. And of course, in Lisboa, you're also gonna have some spicy mustard. I did put peppers, um, mayo and mustard on mine. And here are my Portuguese fries. I also put Portuguese fries in my bifana because why not? That's actually a New Bedford thing, New Beige, that's how we do. So we add our French fries to our sandwiches. So on my Portuguese fries, I have some of that mayo mustard, some fresh onions, and of course my pimenta and some uh, raw onion and bifanas, no festa, no problem. Let's have some carcasas. And in Lisboa, they will put the wine inside of the uh, peppers and onions, but I'm gonna have it in my glass. So beijinhos e beijocas to Sandro G, Fashta in the background. Uh, he was gracious enough to loan me the rights to this music for this video. Beijinhos e beijocas, até já, pdpdrecipe.com. Cheers.